How's it going everybody, Jack here, and it's been a while since I said that, I've had my GCSEs, I'm pretty much done now, so I should be back to making general videos, I haven't uploaded in about a month, uh, and I haven't really liked it, I've kind of missed making videos, and the sort of the launch of IOSA at WWDC a couple of days ago, sort of spurred me back into action, decided to get back on it, I've got three exams left, but I've got plenty of time to revise to them, so I've decided to make this video, I've got another one made today, but anyway, let's head straight into this video. So the purpose of this, as you can see by the title, is to see, uh, is to show you how to get an iOS 8 features on any iOS 7 or below pretty much jailbroken device. So this definitely works on iOS 7, as I'm using it on my iPhone 5 here. Uh, and I don't want to lose my jailbreak, so that's proof that I am jailbroken. And you can see the Apple logo at the top, where my carrier should be. Anyway, the first week I have for you is called Predictive Keyboard. And basically, this does what Apple's Predictive Keyboard does, or originally what Android did. Yes, it's been copied, I suppose you could say. But yeah, as you can see, you just get the three sort of bars at the top of your keyboard, which give you options for when you're typing. And this looks uncannily like what Apple have done. It looks almost identical. As you can see here, thanks to Tom Rich from uh, youtube.com slash iPadUp for letting me use some of his clips. This is on the iOS 8 beta, or beta, depending on where you are on the world. And you can see that it looks absolutely identical. You've got the three bars at the top there, uh, and it just basically matches completely. So basically, either Apple copied the Cydia community or whatever, but basically it's very, very similar. So next up we have Activity Pro. And what this actually allows you to do is share pictures across other uh, apps or sort of programs on your device. And so th it doesn't work very well. It doesn't work brilliantly. As you can see, I just open up over and then it only opens up the application. It doesn't open up straight to the photo that you chose, but it's a nice little feature. And what it's supposed to replicate is basically the uh, ability to have a cross-platform sort of app. So as you can see here, um, you sort of have the option of when developers create the applications or when, when the iOS 8 actually releases, you're going to be able to say um, share things with different things. Say share a picture with Instagram and it's very very interesting or open up links with YouTube um, so the Cydia tweak doesn't work as well as the um, final iOS 8 will work but it gives you a taste of how it will work so next up we have doodle message and I tried my best here this is basically my answer to the ability to send photos and videos and sort of voice recordings with an iMessage it obviously isn't exactly the same but it's it's a, it's a kind of different it's a kind of the same sort of concept so you can see you could just write do, little doodles here i just wrote hi uh, just a friend with a couple of friends here but yeah so it's my answer to that sort of ability it's not identical as i said but it's a definitely a nice little thing as you can see in ios 8 you have the sort of the, the little um sort of microphone that you can tap on and you have the option of just recording uh, a voice memo or voice message and send it that easily so but there's nothing in the city uh, nothing in the jailbreak nothing in at the moment that will happen and I doubt that anything will release. So next up we have Oki or Oki um, and basically this is the quick, rely, re quick reply function. So you can see I've just uh, got messages sending through here. I can tap reply and stay within whatever I was doing and just t type back whatever I want to. It's very very nice and very work pretty much identical to how the final iOS 8 version will work. Uh, and it, it's just, as I said, it's the quick reply function. And to me, this is one of the most attracting features of iOS 8. Definitely something that I really am looking forward to, but not something that I want to update to iOS 8 yet. And anyway, it's way too buggy. This is my main device, so I don't want to update it to iOS 8 just yet. This definitely gives you one of the most useful features. So you can see this is here working on the iOS 8 beta, and um, it, it just works very, very nicely. So you can just sort of when the message comes through, you just you swipe down on it, which is different to how it works in the jailbreak sort of way. But it, it's definitely very similar, and it definitely it's definitely as another Cydia tweak, which is I suppose you could be stolen by Apple. So last but no means least, we have eye swipe, uh, and this is basically. Uh, my answer to all the different custom keyboards that you're going to be allowed to have within iOS 8. So there's nothing really been released yet as obviously we are still in a beta, beta, whatever. But um, yeah, you're going to be able to have third party keyboards. So this is sort of a swipey keyboard like you can get an Android where you can literally just swipe between all the keys to make a word. This is not the best one. It is iSwipe as I said. It doesn't work brilliantly. You will also have to install a third party source to get this. That is not available on the stock sources. You can find loads of different ones online and pretty much every single one of those sources will have this um, tweak in but it doesn't work flawlessly there's quite a few mistakes but this is something that you want to try out just quickly or show to your friends and it's definitely something you might want to download 
So I will have all of the tweak names that I mentioned down below in the description, along with Tom's YouTube link. He is a big YouTuber in the UK. And yeah, I just want to say thanks to him for letting me use his clips. I think it just sort of explained to you what I was trying to show you and how they sort of complemented each other, sort of how the jailbreak tweaks did sort of highlight or sort of worked as some of the iOS 8 features will. Anyway, if you have enjoyed this video, then definitely do leave a like down below. I really do appreciate it. Definitely leave a comment saying down below what you think about it, uh, and if you've upgraded it to the iOS 8 beta, um, and if you're a developer or anything like that, I'm interested to see what my audience are like. And if you're new here, definitely do subscribe. We're going to be doing loads more videos, as I said at the beginning. Anyway, thanks for watching. As I said, subscribe to Tom. Um, link will be on the screen now and in the description. Great YouTuber, and thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.